Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today I'm going to take you through Pilates class for relaxation stretch. So when you're ready, let's begin the class. Let's find ourselves sitting on the ground, on your mat. You may sit in a, what I prefer to have in a diamond leg position, if this is available to your body. Otherwise, you may cross your legs or prop yourself onto a cushion or two to make yourself a bit more comfortable in the sitting position. So I'm going to have my leg in a diamond position. Let's begin our class with some breathing. We're going to focus on inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth, inviting our breath or our breathing through our diaphragm and also into our abdominal. So let's go ahead and sit upright, perching on your sitting bone. You may close your eyes for this session, or for this section, not just a whole session. Right. Just sort of start to tune in into yourself. Tune in internally. As we inhale through the nose, we allow our breath to expand our rib cage, 360 degrees around the rib cage and allow the diaphragm muscle to descend down into the abdominal cavity. But as we exhale, the diaphragm rises up into our chest cavity. The rib cage contracts, the lungs deflate, and you expel the air out of the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, Rib cage expanding, diaphragm descending, and there is a sort of natural expansion of the abdominal cavity with the air that you breathe in. And as you exhale, there's a natural deflation of the abdominal, pressing or pushing that diaphragm muscle upward to the chest cavity. And the rib cage contracts the egg and the air expel out through the mouth. Inhaling. Exhaling with me. Allowing yourself to take in as much breath as you can as you inhale. Allowing yourself to expel as much air as you can as you breathe out. Inhale. Continue with your breathing, allowing our body to just go with that flow of the breath. Almost like listening to that rhythm of the music of your breath. A sense of relaxation enters the body. As you exhale through the mouth, a sense of presence in the body as you inhale. And a softening through the joints as you exhale. Warming up our core. As you exhale, you may even use that abdominal muscle to expel a little bit more air out of the abdominal cavity. So you find that abdominal muscle starting to work. Still having that upright sitting position. The spine is strong. The back muscles is holding that spine upright like a strong pillar. Softening through the shoulder, lengthening through the neck, softening through the jaw, 
even with the eyes closed, you sort of looking internally or inside. What I'm feeling is that if I'm looking in, inside my eyes, I'm just sort of having that light nursing the eyes, softening through the eyebrows. Let's do one more inhalation with me, the longest inhalation ever for today. And then we exhale together. And let's go ahead and open our eyes. Open your arms out to the side. And then side bend over to your right. As we inhale, exhale, take us up a little further into that lateral stretch. Inhaling, lengthening up through the spine. Exhale, use the abdominal muscle to come up to upright. Inhale, over to your left. Exhale, deeper side bend over. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, last set. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, inhale, lengthening through the spine. Exhale, last one. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, inhale, reach up. Exhale, and let it go. And shake your legs a little bit, or if you have your legs in a diamond position, or you can even switch the position of your cross leg. Take your left arm up to the sky, and then bring the arm over onto your right shoulder, and pull gently the head over to your left shoulder, reaching the right arm nice and long here, inhaling, and then exhaling, lengthening through the knee, gently press the head down towards the shoulder. Inhale, allow the spine to grow tall, and an exhale, allow the neck to stretch a little deeper towards the shoulder. And release that. Switching over to the other side, reach up and across. Reach the left arm long. And an exhale, gently put the head, put the head down or pull the head down to the shoulder. I beg your pardon. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, and let it go. Release that, and let's turn ourselves over, facing to the front of the mat. Have your feet slightly wider than your pelvis, and have your hands back behind you, lifting the spine nice and tall. A little hip rolls here. We drop that knee over towards me, as you glance yourself over to the opposite shoulder, exhale, come back to center. And then drop the knee over towards the other side, glance your head over to the opposite shoulder and come back to center. And we inhale, we drop. Exhale. We inhale, we drop. Exhale. Last one each side. Exhale. And the last one here. Exhale and bring yourself up right. Bring your feet slightly closer to each other. So hip width distance apart. Bring your hands underneath the thigh, strong to the arms, lengthening through the spine. We in breath. Exhale as we take ourselves into a C curve, so deep flexion into the spine, and we roll ourselves down all the way to the floor. Bring the heels closer to us, the pelvis, and release ourselves down. Open our arms up to a T position. Squeeze the legs together. Now from here, let's go ahead and to our spine to supine with the feet on the floor. We inhale, we rotate from the waistline, bringing our legs over towards me. Exhale, recruit the center and pull the legs back to the center. Inhale over to the opposite direction. I'm going towards you here. Exhale. Keeping the legs together and rotating as one unit. Exhale. From your center, we pull the legs back to the middle. Inhale over to the other side. Exhale. 
Inhale over to me. Exhale. And last one in breath. Exhale. Release back. Now stay in the middle and take your arms down by the side here. I like you to stretch the leg closer to me. We're going to breathe out as you slide the leg down on the floor. And then we're going to bring the leg up. We're going to point, bring it down. We exhale, slide and flex the ankle. Kick up to the sky, point, bend the knee. So we go exhale. Exhale. Use your breath to move the leg. Exhale. Two more. Strong in the center. Last one. And release other leg. We exhale to slide. Inhale. Two more. Last one. And down. Separate your feet hip width distance apart. So approximately about a fist between your heels. Stretch your arms overhead. Press the back of your arms down to the ground here. Let's take ourselves to a pelvic curl. We in breath. Exhale. As we deepen the abdominal, take ourselves into a deflection in the lumbar spine. Then go ahead and roll the pelvis up using the hamstrings and finish up with the glute muscles. Pressing the big toes down to the floor so inner thighs are active. Actively stretch your arms overhead here. So and we exhale. We roll the spine down, articulating the spine vertebrae by vertebrae right down to the floor and come back to your starting position in breath. Exhale, allow the abdominal to sink the lower back down to the floor. And then peel the spine off, hamstrings working. Glute to finish. Inhale, inner thighs active. Exhale. We roll down. We melt the spine and we release back to that neutral pelvis. In breath. Exhale. Deep flexion. Press the feet down, lift the hamstring up, pelvis up, in breath. Exhale, stretch your arms away from the spine, lengthening the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae down, back to your neutral pelvis. Last one here, in breath. Exhale, roll it up, in breath. Exhale, and roll back down and release, stretch your leg closer to me down on the floor, along the floor. I want you to hear, inhale, reach the legs longer and reach your arms up to the sky, not the sky, overhead. So feeling that stretch in the lower spine and release. One more time, inhale, stretch the legs, stretch the arm, pull away from each other and release. Bring that leg in. And other leg out on the floor. Inhale, reach down as you reach up. Exhale. Again, reach down with the leg. Reach overhead with the arms. Stretch as far as you can. Exhale. Release and bring your leg back. And open your arms up to a T position. I like you to cross the leg away from me on top of the other leg. So like so. Another spine twist here. We inhale, rotate the body towards me. And you can turn the head over to its opposite direction. Exhale, come back to center. And then leg over to the other side and head opposite direction. Exhale, center. Again, inhale, we rotate. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, we rotate. Exhale. And switch the leg. Okay, let's go towards you first. Inhale, we rotate and head opposite direction. Exhale. 
And again, inhale, twist, turning the head. Exhale. One more each side. Inhale with twist. Exhale. Last one here. Inhale with twist. And exhale. And release that. Take your arms back by the side. From here, breathe out and lift the leg closer to me up to a tabletop position. Then press your hands, uh, the hands against the thighs. So I want you to push down with the hands and then push up with the thigh as you breathe out. So inhale, we prepare. Exhale, deep knee abdominal here. Pressing down and pushing up. And stay for five, four, three, two, one. And release, let's do one more time. Exhale, press down and push up. Five, four, three, two, one, and let it go. Let's go over to the other leg. So breathe out and pick that leg up to a tabletop position. And we push down and push up with the thigh as we breathe out for five, four, three, two, one. And release one more time. And exhale again. Press down. Push up. Five, four, three, two, one. And let it go. Excellent. Lower the leg down. And let's turn your head or turn your body facing me. Interlacing your hands at the back of your head. Stack the legs underneath you. Moving on to our chest opener here. Lifting the underneath waistline. We inhale, opening the elbow up to the sky and rotate our body or spine to the back wall. Exhale, return. Again, inhale, opening through the front of the chest. Exhale, two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one. In breath. Exhale. And release. Okay, straighten the underneath arm. And extend the leg, the top leg. You can go ahead and press your top hand on the top of your pelvis and then just push Gently push or lengthen away the pelvis. And now from here, dorsiflex the foot, forward kick, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach long. Exhale. Two more. Reach. Last one and bridge and stay there. I'd like you to hold the leg back there and stretch the top arm across and slide diagonal here. Inhale, bridge away the arm and the leg in opposite direction. Pull the belly in, stay there for three, two, one, and release that. Help yourself up carefully onto a mermaid position. Reach the left arm up to the sky, lengthening tall and gently side bend over towards the right side. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we deepen the stretch. One more. Inhale, we lengthen away. Exhale. And reach up and down. Place that same hand overhead behind you, just slightly behind the bottom. Lift the pelvis, put your weight on that hand. Lift the pelvis and just reach the top arm backward. And we stay here in breath. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And come down, other side. 
So we start with the chest opener. Sideline position, interlace the hands behind your hips, stack the leg underneath you. Lifting the underneath waistline, the spine is nice and long. We inhale as we rotate the upper back. Looking behind you. Exhale. Again, inhale. We rotate. Exhale. Two more here. Inhale. You use your breath to assist you into the movement. Exhale. Last one. In breath. Exhale. And release. Lengthen the underneath arm. Extend the top leg. Place your hand, the top hand, above the pelvis. Top of the pelvis, that is. And reach the pelvis away. Or lengthen the pelvis away from the spine. And now from here, dorsiflex the foot. We go forward. Exhale. Sh, sh, inhale. Reach. Exhale. Sh, sh, inhale. Reach. Exhale. Sh, sh. Last set, sh, sh, reach and hold. Stretch the top arm across an opposite direction and pull the leg away. Inhale, we stay here. Exhale, sh, lengthen out. Inhale, create length in the spine. Exhale, sh, create even more length in the spine. In breath. Exhale, sh, and release, help yourself up. And reach the underneath arm up to the sky. And go ahead and take yourself into a lateral stretch. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, go ahead and deepen that stretch. Again, one more in breath. Exhale, and release. Top arm to the back of the pelvis. And then from here, lift the pelvis up, reach the other arm up to the sky and back. Inhale. Exhale. In breath. One more. And come on down into a quadruped position. Align the shoulder and the heel of the palm and align the knees and the center of your hips. Let's take ourselves into a cat stretch. Take an in breath. Exhale. Deep flexion through the spine as you run it back. Now hold this flexion. I like you to keep the hands exactly where they are and travel the pelvis towards your heels. And lifting the pelvis back over the knees. Unravel the spine and take the upper back to an extension. And take yourself back to a flexion and travel the pelvis towards the heels. And bring yourself over the hands and the knees. Unravel the spine and inhale as you take upper back to extension. Two more times. Exhale. And sit back. Arms are active, reaching in opposite direction. And up over the hands and the knees. Unravel the spine and take the upper back to an extension. Last one. Exhale. And sit back. And over hands and knees. Lengthen the spine. Upper back. And back to neutral spine. Stretch the leg away from me out to the side. Press that foot down on the floor. Now from here, send the pelvis back and just try to sit that pelvis to your heels. And just stay here for a little inner thigh, a doctor stretch here. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breath. In breath. Exhale. Last one. 
and let's bring yourself up over the hands and the knees. Take the leg in, switch leg, other leg out. Send the pelvis back to the heels. Arms are active, spine is long. Inhale. Be present in your center. Inhale. Hold that spine nice and long. One more. Inhale. And shoulder over the hands. Take the leg in. Tuck the toes underneath behind you. Lift the pelvis to a little upstretch position. Nice and high on the heels. Sending the sitting bone long and up to the sky. Neck is nice and easy. Head between the arms if that's possible. Now from here, I like you to just lower the heel closer to me down to the floor. A little prancing with the feet here. Lift high and other side. Lift high and change. And continue with the feet movement. And let's bring our focus to the outer layer of the armpit. I like you to bring that outside of the armpit down towards the floor. So you're creating a little bit more pressure on the little pinky on your hands. We inhale, reach, exhale, it's creating a strong base in the arms. We're still lengthening the tailbone out and sitting bone up to the sky as we keep prancing the feet. And lift and change. One more each side. Both heels nice and high. And both heels down as the tailbone and sitting bone are still actively reaching to the sky. We stay here. Inhale with the heels down. Pressing away from the floor with your hands. Exhale. In breath. Allow the rib cage to really expand as you inhale. Exhale, drawing the abdominal to expel the air out. One more long inhalation with me. Exhale. And let's walk our feet towards our hands. And come to a position with the feet sort of underneath your pelvis here, softening through the knees. And just allow the arms to dangle oh, down on the floor. And even you can even cross and hold onto your elbow. And just let your body be floppy here for a moment. Allow the gravity to do its work. And maybe sway the body left and right. Or maybe you don't want to hold, you want to just shake your arms, do whatever you need to do. Try to be loose in the spine, yet connect it in your center and your pelvic floor so you don't topple forward. All right, in breath. Exhale, allow your body to just rest onto your thigh here. And let go of the arms if you have your arms crossed. And from here, gently send the pelvis down towards the heels as you start to roll the spine up. Vertebra by vertebra, stacking up to a standing position, nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Starting to roll the spine down again, nodding the head down and articulating the spine, staying in flexion as much as you can, softening through the knees. Then take yourself down towards the floor by bringing a pelvis forward. Inhale, take it slow here. Exhale, gently press the feet as you lift the arch of your feet to then start stacking up the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Lifting up tall. Inhale, and exhale, we roll back down again. 
softening to his knees, pelvis steps forward and right down to the floor, even if you need to bend the knees a little bit more here. Now from here, I'd like you to just go into a deep squat. Whatever you can go. Hands behind you, sit the pelvis down. And let's find ourselves in that sitter position again. I'm just going to turn myself facing you. And we're going to finish the class today with some breathing. And how we started the class. Cross the leg or diamond leg position. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Just taking herself into some deep inhalation and exhalation. Bring a focus back to yourself internally. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Can you maybe observe the difference of your breath at the end of the class? versus at the start of the class. Can you now expand the ribcage a lot more, a lot wider, a lot bigger than before? Exhale. And as you exhale there, can you actually feel that abdominal muscle working deeper to expel the air out of, from your abdominal cavity, helping that diaphragm to ascend upward towards the chest cavity to let the air out through the mouth. Inhaling with me. Exhaling, relaxing that skin around the forehead, around the eyes, around the jaw. Inhale. As you exhale, inviting a sense of groundness through the pelvis, yet lifting or lifted, a lifting feeling, that's what I'm trying to say, up through the spine energizing the spinal column in breath. One long exhalation with me. And slowly open your eyes. Thank you for practicing with me today. I wish you a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.